and double blink dependent too, as opposed to like Necrophos and Ember who don't really need any items to. The, the one good thing is that they're running this. You're gonna have to back. They may end up giving up a first blood here if they're not careful. Sonika will charge in. Shelly Touch still going for a bit longer though. Tether across the way. One more auto attack gets the first blood. It goes to bone seven. I'm just curious whether, I mean, there's some like uh, sound bugs too where sometimes things show up in the fog. Well, making a go here on mid lane. AI 2000 will get punished for his aggression. Now the orb splashing through. Burning fought a low, but not able to kill him. He also doesn't even have one point in reflection for some odd reason. If you're just gonna be farming, I guess this is the more efficient build. I mean, still, so if you you probably expect to be contested at some point, it doesn't slow down. And there's that a much. coil onto Shacho, drops low, looking for that wisp region to help keep him alive. But Pi's gonna rotate, and they get the kill again on the puck. Shacho still surviving. He heads to the north. In comes your disruptor, may be able to turn on Pi. Everybody survives. Did they drop a remnant? He's probably gonna TP out immediately, then look to come back and get a kill. They glimpse him back, and he's at Fountain right now. He'll remnant back in, look for another kill on the Pi. Shacho going ham. It's seven to one. Two of those are denies. Now they relocate bottom immediately onto AOI 2000. Huge aggression from the Power Rangers. Smacking down AOI 2000. They'll get a kill here as well. Legion Commander unable to retaliate. Doesn't have duel yet. Walking towards the pit. I mean, they Maybe got missed micro because they didn't observe reward of that. And yeah, they got slammed because of the illusion. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. There's your Sunder. They do bring this Rose down quickly, but... Oh, this could be bad. Power Rangers seem to know something's up. And the turn on begins fast. The orbs are going to come through. This could be a total disaster. They get one kill. Sonico dropping low. Eternal Envy gets remnanted down. He's not able to do anything. He already used the Sunder. And when he's trying to take the Rose, but now they start stampede forward onto Fada. Caught out in Kinetic Field and trapped by Chill. He'll get Necrophos ulted down the chase forward. Looking for Bone Seven. Another remnant. Another chain. He purges off the, the sun, but it won't matter. A double kill. Roche, not low enough for them to kill, though. Down to the Zane Chaparition ult, Chaito dropping low. He's got his flame guard out, though, so he's able to take most of the Zane Chaparition down to survive. And the nukes come in. That'll pop the Aegis, but he got it before going down. Now they're caught out in the pit. They got to duke it out. They'll lose one to a duel. The chase goes on. Cloud9 looking to turn this disastrous early game around as J4 is forced to retreat out. Wave of Terror will connect on him. They don't have the easiest jump in. But it's still with no Blink Dagger, thanks to that slow starter orb forward. Roche and... Obviously going the way of PR, but also it's just a big mental block too for uh, Cloud9 and Terrorblade. They're like, man, are we really going to be able to do Roshan? Not even in this game, it's just for future games. Oh, J4, gonna find out Eternal Envy, he's got a static storm, relocate comes through. Eternal Envy, unable to get that first kill, nice fogging. He doesn't get it, they do end up securing one, but it's only AUI 2000 who claims it, and he's gonna pay for his insulas. So Shaito chases forward on a bone seven. This relocate going back. They will not take the ember though. And breaking that tether the last possible second is they leave bone seven under tower. No protection. He'll go down again at the same time. They look for the turn. Stuns there in Cheshire Cat. Catches out. Pilot die. And then the heals come through from Dit Yara. They might not lose anyone. Necrophos also secure that kill while Fada jumping deeper in the tree line. Looks to retreat out. Orbs are going to splash into him in a second. And he doesn't have a blink dagger. So they might be able to whittle him down during this time. The urn charge is there. Dit Yara going to auto attack Fada almost to death. He will fall. Another four heroes dead. Plus they lost the H. Like he's able to just press into towers even with very low HP. They're gonna tank. set up where this Wisp relocates coming, but there's two more heroes on the way. Digirok caught out. He is fairly durable thanks to the buckler. They need to auto attack him now quickly. Miss the static form set up and they're gonna follow it up with a stomp. They don't even get a single kill of Digira. Too damn tanky with that mass HP. AUI will fall. They wanted to ambush the Wisp return on the relocate and they just end up biting off now. Your Power Rangers looking to take game one here versus Cloud9. They will get J4 coiled. He deploys a Static Storm though on the Fauna, and then is able to retreat out in the end. It looks like he may survive this. The coil broke, but didn't really accomplish much. And now they relocate forward, looking for that Necrophos ultimate. They can't even get it off here as they're just dying too fast. Pylite dying. Also not caught out, but it's... Oh, actually, no. He will go down in the end. Yeah. Nice glimpse. No escape for him. Good glimpse. Aghanim's ult there. Maybe with if he's facing the right way, Blink Centaur stomp. Oh, they're gonna get the duel off on him. He walks right into it with the blade mount. So I guess they didn't know. Then the stomp comes through, connects on two, brings down your Ember, who did have Aegis. That's three down for Cloud9. What a great pickoff for them, and now another pause from the Centaur. This time it's Sonika who disconnects, but hey, damage was done, so you can't really accuse them of tactical pause. <laughs> then the duel, he couldn't cast the spell. Not enough to bring him down, though. He managed to pop his Ghost Scepter before this happened, so he stays alive. He gets healed up the Crimson Guard. Saving. 
who can bring here right back into the engagement. And they're gonna push through. Dyer's Double battle here, Crystal is Ember, just slow. May it maybe a decent pushing here with that Wisp backing him up. He's doing good work here, chopping through the tower. Doesn't bring it down, but one Dyer's more high ground seed. Should at least take the tier three. Oh, go for the duel now, instantly blows him up. Great play by Bone7. Where's the backup? No buyback as of yet. They all get caught by the Ice Blast too. Hero's about to drop. Dit Yara low, he'll fall too, and Soniko. Might be next, three seconds and counting. But no, he's able to get back to his death. So, four heroes dead in the end, Ben. One survivor, your disruptor. Yeah. I would say so. Okay, wash room over. Got those hand warmers ready to go. Your Cloud9 boys back in action. Looking for a jump in on Shadeshlow. HF is nice, but it will come through. They get off the duel with the blade now. See ya, Shadeshlow. Now the Wisp, who relocated a few inches forward, will die as well. Oh, this is costly. From bad to worse, Soniko goes after him. The relocate's gonna bring him back, but he's earning up, and... I don't really see him getting out of this one. Yep. Thumbs up. Two down, Cloud9 in position. They've got the double damage repeat out. That'll dispel it, so... Ends up just dying. Very slowly. Oh, he's not here right-clicking him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But the meantime, four heroes dead. They also lost their necro okay, post they... like game over, dude. Oh, you can't make it a second lane easily. But going for the chain, that won't connect. Oh, turn on he gets swapped out. Necro post oh, not enough. He can sunder this. Oh no. Now it's really over. In a matter of seconds, Power Rangers collapsed three times in a row. Fool me once, fool me twice. Booster. They need pipe. They'll try to hold the line here, but Eternal Envy has no mercy, and Cloud9 are gifted a turnaround here. They're thrown down to one hit, it will fall. Wow. Oh, man, what a way to lose a game. That's just brutal. I mean, yeah, that's just an experience in the mid game of PR. And, I mean, C9 had to do, like, Hail Mary plays, and when you're that far ahead, you have to see them coming and prevent that sort of situation from happening, which is five-man and...